Six Music. Six Music. It's from the new album by the Arctic Monkeys, which is called Humbug. It's the opening track called My Propeller, the Arctic Monkeys. Our guest, the new album Humbug, released next Monday. And then Reading and Leeds festivals. Have I asked you this before? Did you go to Leeds or Reading before you were in the band? Yeah. Went twice, I think, before. Yeah. Leeds. Went Leeds, yeah, Leeds. And so what year would this be? <clears throat> Do you remember? Um, the year after the strokes. It was a it? year after the really good one, when <laughs> strokes and And then punk. the year that... White Stripes didn't do it. As right, well. right. And <laughs> and how old were, how old were you at the time? Did you go as a gang? Yeah, we went about fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. And we went. Yeah, there were quite a lot of us actually. Minibus. Yeah. That kind of thing. Big uh, tent compound. I was going to say, did you have to park your tents in, yeah, a, in some sort a of circular circle? thing? Yeah. yeah. And any, right. so, if uh, White Stripes didn't play, anyone who was any good. Can you? Remember? I remember really enjoying Supergrass at that first one that we went to. I think oh, so right. they like headlined Radio One. Yeah, right. Ten, and it was like quite good. That was, that was great. Did Black Rebel play that? Yeah, yeah they did instead of what? Well, no, they didn't do it. They like play. I remember playing a White Stripe song. Like yeah, a little bit right. of a tribute. Yeah, that was good. Uh, were you uh, when you started going to see bands? Do you think you were, you know, consciously or maybe subconsciously already sort of taking in what bands do on stage and the way they perform? I don't know. I think probably then, yeah, probably because I was just starting to play drums, so probably I'd. Just watched drummers quite a lot. Yeah. And yeah, I reckon I did. Still do. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. And um and you think about the way people approach gigs like that. Because it is it's a different sort of art, isn't it? When you look at some bands, they know instinctively what they're doing on, on stage, you know? Yeah. It's all in like the way they walk on, isn't it? Yeah. Because that can make me feel really embarrassed for some <laughs> the big walk. bands. When they walk on sometimes I feel really like ooh. What, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and oh, yeah, yeah. health really. Yeah, it's sometimes sort of like when there's like a bit of an head down and a drink up, yeah, that's a bit nervous. Yeah. Don't know about that. Or a sort of. I've got. I'm like embrace. I'm a, I like not embrace it. the band. I mean, I'm like. Like or like a, hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone like. <laughs> someone goes forward. Someone, someone not the singer does that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit like so it's you, hard might, to get you, right. you have to walk on with confidence, but not. Well, co- maybe but not cockiness. Because then I because then I've 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 really felt. Bad in the past for like walking on like can of beer, like, <laughs> nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> That'll this time. But, but so yeah, uh, anything weird. anything particular planned um, for uh, the Reading and Leeds appearances? The walk on, the walk <laughs> on. Going to plan that? Yeah. Well, maybe just get round here. Get Matt abseiling onto his stool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've always zip wanted lines. a zip line. Yeah, yeah, we spoke about zip. Always line. wanted a zip line. The zip line on it. But yeah, I it's quite difficult. The curtain, do. the stood behind the curtain things. What? Ever more appealing Curtain as well. drops mm. And you're already there Yeah I like that Yeah That's good really? yeah, I mean Because it, it must be A weird moment isn't it um, Just before You go on stage yeah. At a festival There's all the well wishes I mean having stood Side of stage at Reading When I was DJing And comparing I mean you see bands Come up Some bands have got Rather elaborate Sort of group hugs And before, things they do, yeah. That they do beforehand um, But it's just It must, it must be that Sort of nerve wracking moment Because you know Everyone's out there You can probably picture it In your mind yeah. yeah, it's quite. It's we don't strange. really do any of that like no, hug no. thing or sort of clear everyone out. It's more just like yeah. we used to walk on in a certain order, but even we don't even, even do that that's anymore. Been like, <laughs> yeah, but like yeah. a football team. Yeah, yeah, like a, like, yeah, we're like that. Like, yeah. We're like a but line. Do that that got sort of abolished before Glastonbury. I had a nightmare because I couldn't. <laughs> I had a pair of white socks on. Cause I'd had Wellingtons on all day. Switched the wellies out for the. Stage shoe for the stage shoe, yeah, and um, and and of course, the stage shoe being black, there was a an awful juxtaposition with the white <laughs> sock, and I was like, so that was a, a, a nail biting for the minute. It was like, took I need some black up, socks. Yeah. We need socks. I need a barrage <laughs> and some black socks. <laughs> <laughs> is it um, is it a case of having particularly with I suppose the festivals, you know this renewed vigor now that there are new songs to play as well? Does that give give you a, an extra I don't know kick when you're going out to play? Yeah, like even when we've just been like playing gigs that we've done so far, it's it's like we've been putting quite a few new ones in now, yeah. and yeah, it makes it it just makes it, it even makes old ones exciting again yeah. when you're playing like within like quite a a new set because you've been around doing a few festivals haven't you selected yeah. festivals Czech Republic I think you did yeah, we did. one yeah, or two places know. we just do, we, we just, just got back there in well. Scandinavia just there it's good with the new tunes in there as well because I think it sort of somehow 
reintroduces some uncertainty to the whole thing, you know, whereas when we stopped playing, like, the end of the year before last, or you sort of, to some degree, knew how you were going to go down because everybody knew all the yeah. the records and, you know what I mean? So there's, there's yeah, I think with like, this new thing that you might get a few scowls, which is quite exciting. Yeah. You know? And so... so in terms of making this new record, when did you decide to go and do it sort of differently? I mean, was it a case of you didn't want to sleepwalk through a, a record and another, you know, series of dates, knowing that you could do it virtually on autopilot? Did you sort of sit down and think, right, what are we going to do next? Yeah, well, I think the first thing was to sort of have a minute before we went back in. So we had like six months without really playing together, and then after that, yeah, we all. We we kind of met up and started to yeah speak about what we wanted to do, but I think the one thing we found certainly I don't know we haven't reached that point yet where we could sort of draw a plan out. I think we we just had to sort of start really and start trying things out, and whether they were blind alleys or not, I think we just that's seems like that's the way this band operates is to sort of just re, you know write and record and then chop and channel it into the finished record. So had you started writing and then thought, you know, we should do this record with Josh from Queens <coughs> of the Stone Age, or was that um, uh, an idea which had been around even before you set out in the writing process? That had been around... We sort of we played a couple of shows with them like the year before we like got together and started writing and that, and I think around that time we'd said... Well, we, we'd kind of well, one. We th- it crossed his mind. Like, I wonder what mm. it'd be like getting in the studio with him. And Did you have the conversation? Oh, I bet you won't do it. Yeah, well, let's ask him. Yeah, you ask like, him. And he's like, no, like yeah, yeah, a bit like that, sort <laughs> of. But then we like forgot about it, and then it was Lawrence, like from Domino, was like, oh, is that Josh Arm thing? So we must have must have got on a bit because he knew about it, and then yeah. so we were like, oh yeah, uh, would you you still be interested in that? And, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's only like, oh, well, you know, yeah, if he is, like, but you ask him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you ask him. And so, uh, so it comes to bed. So when you, so you go to, what, it's Josh's studio? Whereabouts is it? So we spoke to him on the phone and it was all, and we got these demos and he, we sent them to him. And, uh, oh, no, it's like, it's like waiting for exam results. <laughs> yeah. You send, you send your music to him, exactly. waiting for the, has he called it? He would just sort of like, yeah, to see that. He's like, I'm sure it's good and that, but yeah. like, just, 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 just to check. You know, what you send want it, just, I just want to see like what page you're on. <laughs> so then we sent him these things, and uh, I think it was like six tunes or something. Like Pretty Visitors from the album was on there, and Dance Little Liar was the tune. In fact, they I think he heard and was like, "Yeah, you got to come to Rancho de la Luna in Joshua Tree." So we did the first session with him, which was like a couple of weeks, and we did like one week out there in Joshua Tree and the other week in 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 Joshua's studio in right. LA. And what was so what was it like? I like see I'm trying to I've been to the I've been to one of the deserts which is next to the Joshua. It's like the Joshua Tree's neighbour. Um I once I was sent <coughs> by the New Musical Express to interview James for a cover story and they were recording a video there because right. apparently it never rains. Oh. We arrived, it rained. It rained for the <laughs> yeah. first time in five years or something. Yeah. Uh we should rather put the mockers on things. But so I know vaguely the area, but for you what was it what was it like being out there? If you can just describe it. It was good. It was like because when we we did that um Coachella festival and it's a similar drive to, like from LA where you go, but this time we we drove out with Josh to there. He like kind of took us in his car for a bit of a bond, aren't we there? Right. And um, so but arriving there, yeah, we kind of we didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really even looked at any like pictures of it or anything, and not realizing what it was until we got there. <laughs> Just like studio yeah. desert. I was, I was a bit yeah. and camels. And I shit. thought, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought at least a palm tree <laughs> or a, yeah. A camel, but then yeah, and when we got there, it was, it's it was just like a little house, and and it happened to have a studio in it. But um, it seemed exciting as soon as we got there because it was like like this is all we're going to be doing. <laughs> like there's nothing else to do, so we're, def- we're definitely going to get some recording. And it's really quiet at night. Yeah, really quiet. And uh, weird lighting as well because it's because it's like moon 
didn't like any street lights or anything. So it's just strangely, it's just different, at, yeah. strangely atmospheric. Yeah, it is. It's weird. And as, uh, as you started out on those uh, first sessions, then uh, what was that like? Because uh, I mean, I've read you know uh, a couple of pieces which have indicated that you know there was going to be it was more more of an ability to experiment and more in, you know encouragement maybe to just take it whichever way you want. Which in my head, I don't know if you ever did this as a kid, but when you had a bonfire in the back garden and you had uh, like plastic plastic toys, plastic models. And uh, you throw one in the fire mm. just to see what happens when the yeah. fire when the fire's burnt out. You go back and it's sort of melted slightly. Yeah, that's mm. what going to the desert and recording <laughs> with Josh Homme does for your music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? it does. Yeah, or, that, or like you've <laughs> or like you've then. you've left a dairy milk out in the sun. Yeah, and, and, then, re- and then you put it in the fridge and it's reset yeah, in it's like a bit of a wonky order. That's yeah. that's the recording sessions in the desert. It's dairy milk in the desert. Yeah, and then dairy what milk comes in the out? Fridge then refrigerated and, or uh, or the Plastic soldier, it's a slightly more masculine <laughs> analogy. Toy cars, <laughs> soldiers. Today. Like dairy, what could you get any more like a, a softer oh, chocolate? Turkish oh. delight. And I'm <laughs> I've got a Caramac, right? Yeah, probably a soldier then. Okay. Toy soldier. Was it like that at all? Uh, was that rather fanciful? No, that's perfect. It's probably Steve, about yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and nerve wracking, or just really enjoyable. Actually, um, actually, having yourself tested. No, I think I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Like all of us seem to more than.